Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, with your host, Breakman79. Uh, in our last episode, the, what sounded like a very angry piggy, or something of that end, was trying to smash its way through this door over here. And, according to my memo, I need to get out of here. It told me I should take this tank, but... I'm not seeing any way to pick it up. Um, what happens if I... Can I keep spinning this? Oh yeah. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Quickly, come on. Jump up there. Alright. Come on. Run. Uh. Oh, another note. Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform its designated function? These cursed new fangled trucks with only run a fraction of the distance my old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storm room is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it says I. Enough for a night and to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damson Templar for a jar. So, it looks like I need to take this fuel tank. And, uh, okay, and fit it onto the truck. Which it looks like I did. Okay, where's the... Ah! Ye old crank start. Huh? Ah, oh, alright. Let's see here. Okay. I guess that was it. Yeah, it looks like it moved. Alright, and we go to the creepy graveyard. This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. Is this what the uh, stone egg they were referring to in the memo? Okay. What? 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 That is a person, isn't it? With no head and no feet? Okay, I guess we're going into the basement. To a new area. Livestock and Bible. The wires came up out of the ground whilst he lay on the grass asleep. Like serpents they were, and they burrowed into his ears and became his listening. Oh, another memo. Inside St. Dunstan's. Dunstan's. We sat here, I remember. We sat 
in our black and we mourned and we prayed and we bowed our heads how I hated God then how I spurned him if this is our Lord this pig who rubs me of my oh, robs me of my wife then I refute 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 his embrace I will carve a new God for us all such madness such a fool I was if such blasphemous ravings remained within me I would be doomed but even here I feel the machine throb beneath the flags and I know my path awaits me okay can't go in there hmm So I can go upstairs, or in here. Let's go in here. Another note. What? Okay. November 23rd, 1899. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others all of the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Hmm. Anything? Nope. Nope. Just the Bible. Get out of the way. Ah, uh, nothing. Jeez. Oh, uh, I bet they both go to the same place. Uh, okay. Uh, another gramophone. See what this one says. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. Hmm. Okay then. Yeah. Okay. What? Hmm. Sounds like Phantom of the Opera. Father Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now, where once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation to their lives. Now drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that madness distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery. That it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy, and from the confines of his sickbed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most malevolent charities in all of London. 
not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Oops. Okay. All right. Let's grab this candlestick. I'll just leave that for now. Um, teddy bear. Hmm. Well, the music stopped. I know what the candle's for. What's in here? Ominous lever? Is this like the boiler? Furnace? Yep, can't turn that on. Another room on the other side. And it's locked. Alright, let's go pick up the candle and shove it in that slot. Okay, got it. Oops. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Maybe I can turn this thing now. Hmm. Still won't open. So... Something happened. Oh, it started a fire. New memo. Infernal machinery. The engine fires, the flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart flatters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption. But my children beckon me on that, on and I cannot fail them. All right, let's throw the switch. And what happened? Whoa! New journal entry. <laughs> A hellish portal. It appears I have no choice. Thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bedlam, and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will swear that mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Don't really want to be down here. Ah, uh, it closed on me. Great. What is that? It's getting really dark too. That looks like a cage or something. Listen, Papa. Hold the air to your ear. You can hear the sea. Uh, 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 oh 
no, 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 no. Stay on, stay on. Another note. These final thoughts. What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What be stitching of parts? I doubt I will ever be found. Yet I leave you this, scrawled in the malodorous half-life. Whilst my tormental shuffles below, my fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloom, and where I wait for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it is finally my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. <sighs> Doesn't that sound good? Oh! What? Jeez. Okay. Okay, nothing, nothing in here. I guess we're going this way. Somebody in there? Oh, you did that! Don't come back, don't come back, don't come back. Oh. Oh. Could I hide in here? Okay. Yes, get me out of here, get me out of here. And so to the stoking. The workers sing as they work, they sing as they eat, they sing as they make the toilet. They are always singing, if you place your ear to the ground, you can hear them still. Whew. Yeah, that was kind of intense. Uh, 
Alright. Open this door. Push this thing out of the way. Ah, oh, more dead pigs. Another... Another one of those... Pumps. truck we have to move, probably. Where's the gas tank? What's that? Mm -hmm. Um... Water in his shoes. Always the water, and the sparks and the embers of the wheels. It's too bony! It's too damn bony! Bony? Um... Meat processing. Whoa! Whoa! I don't see any gas tanks. Oh, memo. The Mandis Processing Company. My soul shudders at what I have seen. But it, yeah, mine too. But at last, I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those flood waters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of this vile cradle. Okay. Uh. Do any of these open? Let's see. In we go. Um, yeah, downstairs. Oh, another recording. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. Mm. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Hmm. All right. Let's continue onward. Down the stairs. Piston rooms. Yeah, that looks like a piston, all right. Light, why do you do that to me? Please let there not be another one of those things down here. Oh, it's just a... Jeez. Oh, wait, no. No! is clear. Let's continue on. Um, this way. And these games. Ah. Uh, uh, 
As long as we don't have those like underwater creatures that were in the first game. Ugh. Oh, so I got a choice: up or down. Up, up or. That goes down, down, down. Let's let's go up. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. Huh? All right. Hear me, Mantis. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. Mm -hmm. Great. Under the pistons, eh? Uh, well, let's look through this desk. Bottom drawer first. Come on. Nothing. Another note. October 17th, 1899. Each compartment is ergonomically designed with a feed trough at one end, so the product naturally settles into a position ready for the stunning arms to connect to the skull. Ugh. We use the natural static charge built up by the friction of the carts against the belt to build an electrical charge, which is contained within the glass vacuum canisters at the sides of the stunning arm mechanisms and delivered along the stun arms via copper cabling. We have observed that the artificial lighting contained within these canisters seems to calm the product further. Post stunning, the line tilts sharply to the vertical, the physics of which tips the stunted product upwards to fall directly onto the hook of the bleeding line. Ugh, doesn't sound great. This hook passes normally through the haunch or thigh of the product, and from this point we dispense with the belt and instead instigate a channeled floor, which creates a funnel allowing blood and byproduct excretions to collect and run into the fluid collection tanks. This must be like the pig slaughterhouse notes, basically. Nothing there. Is there anything ever in one of those? Okay. Nothing, nothing. Alright. I guess we're going back downstairs. sound good does not sound good don't want to come down here oh, under that oh jeez Control room. Uh, let's see if there's anything else down here. This one's open. Huh. Might be used for something. Let's see what's in here. Um, you know what, um, I think I'm going to put a cut in the video here, and we'll <laughs> see what's behind this door in the uh, next video. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.